welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny Allen. And before we get started with today's video, please make sure that you are subscribed, that you thumbs up this video and check the description box below. So welcome to today's video. And for today's video, I am doing, um, I'm sure I'm going to show you how I use my Strong's Concordance because I've had a few people comment on a video that I did using a Strong's, Strong's Concordance. They'd like for me to go through it again. And I've had other people randomly ask me, how do I use my Strong's Concordance? So I'm just going to go through it with you. And here in my Bible, um, on the 4th of August, 2023, I did a short stud word study on the word formed, on the word formed. And this is how, if you've seen my um, stationary, what I take to the library stationary video, which I'm not sure what order, if this is, this is going to go up first or the other one's going to go up first. But in that video, I uh, show you what I use to bring to the library. And I did, I think I did this in the library, actually. So let me show you how I use my Strong's. If you have the Strong's app, you can also use the app in the Blue Letter Bible. Um, yeah, in the Blue Letter Bible app. If you would like for me to show you how I use the Blue Letter Bible app, leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll happily do that for you. But I have my hard copy of the Strong's and it's been expanded with the best of Vine's dictionary of Old and New Testament words. So let me show you how I use it. So if I'm like, for example, on this day, I was using, I was reading Isaiah 54 verse 17. Isaiah 54, 17. Let me just, oops, sorry about that. Let me just scroll in so that you can read it. It says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So what I do, I read it in the King James, and then I read it in the Amplified Version. So let me just read that for you. But no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall show to be in the wrong. This peace, righteousness, security, triumph over opposition is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, those in whom the ideal servant of the Lord is reproduced. This is the righteousness or the vindication which they obtain from me. This is that which I impart to them as their justification says the Lord. That's just encouraging, just reading it right there. So what we're going to have a look at now, we're going to have a look at the word formed. Okay, formed. So what I do is, here's my notes that I took. So what I do, let me just put that to one side. I get my Strong's Dictionary. Let me just bring that out. Yeah, I get my Strong's Dictionary and then I look for that word formed. Make sure that you are looking. Yeah. Hold on. Let me just. Yeah. So you look for the word formed at the front of the concordance and you look for. So let me just scroll in here. There. So you can see we've come to the word formed. And every time the word formed is used in the Bible, it will be listed. Every word used in the Bible is listed 
in the concordance and then you've got the hebrew meaning here so because that word formed is in the old testament we're looking at the hebrew the new testament was written in greek so what you do you look for isaiah 54 verse 17 so it's not there so we're going to have to turn it over so there we go so you've got isaiah 54 there we go verse 17. see that there i will zoom in because the print is pretty small oh, i can't zoom in anymore but i think you can see it there you see so no weapon that is formed against thee so there we've got the word formed you've got isaiah 54 17 and then i make a note of the number which is treble three five treble three five so then i make a note of that number and then i go to the hebrew section of this strong's concordance at the back you see it's labeled you've got hebrew and aramaic dictionary and then you've got Greek Dictionary of the New Testament, but we're looking at the Hebrew. So you make a note of that number and you find treble three five at the back of the concordance. So let's have a look at that. Treble three five. Okay. So here we go. Now, once you've found it, I'll zoom in. Treble three five. There we go. So we're looking at that word formed. So treble three five, and it says treble three five, and the, it's yatsar or yotsar. Now, if you have the Strong's Concordance on your app, or you have the Blue Letter Bible version in your app, you can find this particular passage of scripture in your app and it will give you the correct pronunciation. So I'm, oh, I'm using my phone. Let me see if I can, um, if I've got it on my iPad. So just bear with me one second and I will see, I think I have blue letter. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I look at my blue letter Bible if I want to, because some of these Hebrew names, I cannot pronounce them, these Hebrew words. So what I do, I go into my, um, so we're looking at Isaiah 54, 17, Isaiah 54, 17. So there you have it. And then you go in, click it, go to enter if you want to uh, have a video on how I use it, then we can do that. So what I do, here we go. So let's zoom in there. So in the concordance, the Strong's concordance on the app, you have, there we go. You have that word, Yasar, and then you have it treble three five and then you have the word that is formed and then it will give you a pronunciation of that word in the hebrew when you press uh this amplifier so here we go strong's h thirty three thirty five. 35 yat sad yat there we go okay let's do that again Strong's age 3335. Yat sad. Yat sad. There we go. So that's the correct, the correct pronunciation of the word. So if you want something on the blue letter Bible, let me know in the comments. So triple three five. Let's go back there. And there, it will start to give you the meaning of the word. So you've got, it will give you, sometimes it will give you links with other Hebrew words. 
And when it gives you the links to other Hebrew words, you will see the other um, the other reference numbers there. So you could also have a look at three three four. You can have a look at three three treble three. Sorry, treble three four, treble three one, and it will also let you know how many times in the Bible um, that the word is used using this meaning so this word now means to form to mold to fashion the first occurrence in the old testament is in genesis chapter 2 verse 7 god formed man of the dust of the ground reflecting the basic meaning of molding something to a desired shape so when you when you're studying the word this is what i do sometimes as well is that if i find a meaning and it's really ministering to me i will take my bible and go through all the occurrences where this word form is used throughout the bible so this can also be used as a mini bible study of the particular word that you're looking at so what I did for me when I was looking at the word formed, I wrote down the meaning of it and then I wrote down other scriptures where this word, this uh, meaning of the word formed was used. So I've got here Genesis chapter 2, verses 7, 8 and 19. I've got 2 Kings 19, 25 and I have Psalms 33, 15. OK, I hope that helped you. Let me know if you would like me to do something similar with different words, because I'm looking at doing more word studies on my channel as well. So let me know what you would like. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. OK, so if this was helpful, let me know. Thumbs up the video. Leave me a comment. OK, God bless. And I'll see you in my next video. God bless. Yeah.